today's actually kind of a big day in New York State telephony. If my voice sounds weird, it's because I have a cold, but it seems to be receding. But uh, today's kind of a big day in New York State telephony because big chunks of Westchester are finally being forced to go to 10-digit dialing. That's not something I keep up with, but I was surprised to hear how much of New York State was still still uh, able to make landline calls dialing only seven seven numbers seven digits but now they're going to have to dial the area code plus the number and that's because today is the day that 988 connects you to the suicide prevention and counseling hotline although it doesn't do it from this phone you get error 32 or something So uh, those parts of Westchester, they, there were a bunch of phone numbers that had 988 as the first first three numbers of the uh, the seven-digit number. So to prevent people from accidentally dialing up the <laughs> suicide counseling number, uh, they're now being forced to dial the area code and then 988 and the rest of the number. I think I heard on the radio that parts of Long Island were also affected by this. This phone has not been programmed to recognize 988 as the suicide number. And that's something I might actually rattle the cage at PTS about. Because that should, that should work. Just like 911 should work. 988 should. So let's see if 988 works on this thing. It should. My instinct is that it will. Because City Bridge doesn't do anything to program the phone on these things. Except they block certain numbers. Like ice cream truck jingle move numbers and traffic pumping numbers and whatever. But for the most part, the phone function on this thing is... And then the belongs to Ring Central. Let's see. One moment. You have reached the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Okay, it works. Good for them. But that's no credit to City Bridge per se. It's just uh, Ring Central doing what it's supposed to do. I think there's still 10 of these things moldering away in plain sight off of Fifth Avenue between Rockefeller Center and 42nd. This is 42nd. They actually came out and cleaned this one up, but they did nothing to fix the phones because there's nothing that can be done to fix them. It's in, it's in writing and it's on the books that these have to be gone by the end of the year. I'm kind of running out of time. I wonder if they just forgot about these. I just realized, that, oh wow, that, that last machine, it actually worked. The phone call actually worked. <laughs> I generally don't expect that, but let's see if it works on this one. This is another instance where the call connects, but you can't hear the person you called. So, if you're distraught and suicidal, you'd be out of luck on this one. By the way, there's the new uh, the new kid in town. I attended a, um, a panel discussion last night. It was, I was invited by an artist friend of mine who I, I've mentioned here a number of times. Um, 
and I've been helping, helping him out with his payphone related project. And it was him and a woman who used to be president of the New Museum, sort of a well-known name in the art world of New York. There was a journalist from, I think it was Slate, and then there was the CEO of City Bridge. City Bridge is the company that owns all those link kiosks that I can't stop talking about, can't stop complaining about. <laughs> um, I'm surprised he was there at all. A lot of people express the same sentiment, but the, um, topic of discussion was art in public space or reclaiming public space for the purpose of art and that's something that my artist friend does he he orchestrates ad interventions where he puts works of art on top of ad display advertising panels and even even screens like this so they had a panel dis discussion about really they had a, a focal point to, to start with but it was it was a pretty engaging discussion all around if I had the guts <laughs> um, there was a Q&A thing at the end and if I had the guts I would have asked the, the city bridge guy why his kiosks all suck so bad with regard to the tablet features and the phone calls and everything but I'm not a troublemaker and I don't think it would have accomplished anything anyway by asking. I don't, he probably doesn't even know that, how bad those things suck. But it was, it was an interesting discussion though, all around. getting this one Put back into service let's see yeah still works bingo let's see if 98 works here probably not waiting waiting error 13 you're on your own kid I shouldn't joke about that thing, sort of thing, but still. It is troubling. Let's see if... Oh, that's right, the, the, none of the star shortcuts work on this one. I forgot about that. Error 29, I think. But we do have dial tone. Let's try... Uh, I don't feel like wasting coins today. 1-800-ASTORIA. Uh, used to go to Astoria Federal, the bank, or I think that's what it was called, Astoria Savings. But they merged with another bank. I'm not I don't know what bank this is, I don't really care, but calls go through, that's all I all I wanted to demonstrate. But I'm not not feeling generous with my coins today to try to call a local number. But that's good news, right?
is an art gallery right here. That's a real fish.
cell phone unless you go retro and attach a handset to your to your phone, which I've seen people do. Yes, I hung up on you and I enjoyed it. 